In today's lecture, we're going to talk about public access to environmental information. We look at the history and the policy and the practice of this area, and we'll take a different perspective through looking and at the history and the development of this area. So just as a starter, let's notice how much information exists within the uh, general area of decisions about the environment. Like, this is an example from the IPCC report, and you can see just the huge amount of information that actually got into it from data collection about uh, trees, to uh, records of changing temperature, to a whole set of um, computer modeling, and everything in between, and all that come together in one diagram that then influence different types of decision making. Or another example is from uh, a decade ago when um, the then chief scientific uh, advisor was uh, talking about different aspects of reaching sustainability and was pointing out that the world will need within a few decades 30 percent uh, more energy and uh, more food and more water and again you think about the whole data sets and information that led to this type of analysis, to this summary. Or another example is the uh, sustainable development goal, which while we kind of now getting familiar to the top level goals, which are things like no poverty or other things, actually beneath them there are a whole set of uh, indicators that are being specifically defined and data is being collected in order to monitor and to demonstrate uh, how well they are working. And that is something that we can notice throughout the history of the environmental movement. This is not something that just recently uh, came in. The modern environmental movement, we can say, is about uh, 60 years old. It started somewhere in the uh, late 1960s. Usually the book Silent Spring is uh, the one that is being used as a marker to say that um, this is where the modern uh, interest in the environment started. In terms of actual applications of um, en environmental action, the 1970 USA Earth Day will be the first point where we can see uh, an actual uh, involvement of a wider movement. And 1972 was an example of the international level with the Stockholm Conference which was the first UN conference on uh, environmental issues. And while the 1970s weren't good period in terms of environmental awareness because of uh, the economic crisis that uh, took over from attention to pollution and to environmental issues, the 1980s uh, marked a new awareness with uh, things like uh, the report Our Common Future, which was written in 1987 and uh, provided the basis for sustainable development, but also the, develop the understanding of the ozone layer and also of acid rain, which raised awareness and again with the uh, Montreal Protocol demonstrated the international awareness. The 1990s started with a bang, with the Rio Conference or the Earth Conference, where uh, things like climate change started to receive attention, the development of Agenda 21, 
um, which was a plan for how to move towards sustainability and other things started to happen and as we progress we during the 1990s we have the Kyoto Protocol on how to deal with climate change um, and also in 1998 a very important for our discussion the ours convention which is about public access to environmental information and um, following Rio there was another international conference in 2001 um, and with the development of uh, different directives all the way to today and to the Paris Agreement and the uh, outcomes of it as we are here waiting for the next meeting uh, in 2021. So what we can see throughout this period is a set of um, themes and things that changed over time from local pollution concerns with things like uh, DDT impact on birds or the Clean Air Act to movement towards global issues from the ozone layer but then that leads also to understanding about climate change and actions. There is an ongoing tension between developing and developed uh, world discourse where you could already seen it in um, the Stockholm conference. It was already coming up and part of the reason why the UN environmental program is based in Nairobi is because of this uh, tension in discourse. Um, it's also appearing in the sustainable development goals where there is an attempt to make it coherent across the world, but there is still a challenge. There is also the role of government in civil society, so growing acceptance of multiple stakeholders in decision-making processes. And uh, from specific environmental problem solving to frameworks. So things like clean air or clean water is to address a specific problem. But uh, as we progress, we have issues that are wider and climate transitions and other things are being raised. So all these, um, in all these themes, we can think about what is the role of environmental information um, and what we see throughout it is that the role of it is undisputed, but we can ask how it is created, who created it, how it, how it is being used, and uh, by whom. And those are questions that are many times overlooked and they don't get enough attention and they will be the center of the discussion today. So what we are going to cover is to look at the history of environmental information and uh, using a framework of the three eras of environmental information. So we'll start by looking at the early era of the 1960s to the uh, late 1980s and early 1990s where information is used by experts then uh, we'll look at the second period, which is uh, information created by experts, but then shared with the public. So that's the 20 years from 1992 to 2012. And then finally, how we are expanding the uh, access and production of information to uh, new groups. And throughout that discussion, we are going to look at uh, issues of environmental information. So things like which technologies are being used, uh, issues of digital divide, uh, the environmental costs of producing information, and different aspects of it. So we will take a long view and we'll see a lot of examples of uh, information systems that have been used over the year, but they will help us in understanding this uh, area.